Hi and welcome to Giant Dogs. One of the things I wanted to do is, uh, you know, I talk about some benefits and some drawbacks of these dogs, and uh, I want to talk about some of the differences between this dog, who is Tibetan Mastiff, and this dog, who is a Newfoundland. Now, they definitely have different different personality types. That's for sure. And uh, give foot five. Good girl. Good girl. But uh, one of the things is that the Tibetans tend to be a cleaner dog. Now, I know it sounds kind of weird, but when you smell this dog, she doesn't have the big dog stink. Um, it's just not there. Uh, and the funny thing about these dogs is she can go out and roll around in the mud, and in about two hours she'll look just like she does now. It really is incredible. I mean, the difference in dogs is amazing. The, the difference in the fur and uh, you know, you, you look at her, she looks like she's just been groomed or something and she hasn't been to the groomer in shoot, two months now. So definitely a different dog. Now in contrast, here we've got Bear. Bear's a Newfoundland and you can kind of see all the junk in his hair <laughs> and it has not been that long since he's been brushed. Uh, so it's a little bit different and the other thing about his hair is it just tends to get everywhere. Uh, we thought we had a problem with Angel, and then we brought Bear into the mix, and boy, you'd find hair everywhere, and we still do. It's it's incredible. For some reason, his hair is more tacky. It sticks to more things. So, anyway, that's just kind of a difference I noticed between, you know, a Tibetan and a Newfoundland. I mean, how many people can compare these dogs, right? <laughs> so, I've got them. I figure I might as well tell you guys about my experiences with them. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe for more doggy cuteness.